Hi everybody, I'm Richard Hilton. I'm the creator of Profit Renegade and I'm going to showcase the grid functions and controls today on this video. The first thing I want to do is show you how to import and export. The way you import is you click on grid controls, you click import, and then you import your data. You wait for this green bar to stop doing its thing and then you will have all your leads in the grid right here. Depending on how large the list is and how fast your computer is, it depends on how long it takes to load. This is a fairly large list over 25,000 in it so it took a moment this probably takes only probably would take less than a minute if I wasn't recording a video on a laptop so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this he extra header line not sure why that's there and I'm just going to look make sure all the fields line up and they do everything's good to go so I'm going to now clean this list now this particular list is just a bunch of different lists I put together until I came up with this amount so that I could show you how to merge, sort, and dedupe your leads, how to clean them and make them ready for sending postcards or getting on the telephone and making your phone calls or you know your email campaign. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pretend that this is an email campaign for this first run. I'm just going to come over here to email. I'm going to click on the header, left click. All these headers have functions so you just have to choose the function that's appropriate. In this case we're going to try to get rid of all emails so I'm just going to click remove blanks again this takes just but a moment and again depending on your computer and how fast it is depends on how quickly that happens so we now have a grid with nothing but emails in it and as we can see right here there's a bunch of oops let's scroll down again I can visually see there's a bunch of duplicates in there so we're gonna have to remove duplicates in a moment but before I do that I'm gonna make sure that there's no leads that do not have phone numbers so I'm going to remove blanks on phone numbers I'm also going to make sure that they all have perfect addresses, so I'm going to remove anything without a zip code, anything without the state, anything without the city, and anything without the actual street address. Alright, so that didn't really take out too much. The next, but what it did do is it cleaned up the list so that my sorting routine should be a little bit quicker. And I noticed that there's a few missing websites, so let's go ahead and clean those out also. So now every single one of these leads has a name, address, telephone number, street address, email address, and a website, as long as, as well as the listing address and the longitude and latitude. But again, we know that there's duplicates, so let's remove the duplicates. And I'm just going to click the header, and I'm going to click Remove Duplicates on the email field. What that means is it's looking at every email address and removing duplicates. When you do it on business name, it looks at every business name same thing for address city every field in the software we're going to let this run for a moment again this is the probably the longest part of any function built into the grid is the removing duplicates it takes a moment again depending on your fa uh, your computer that dip and how much is in the grid depends on how many duplicates are in there as we can see now <coughs> that only leaves us with 1100 uh, again you know don't worry about it like i mentioned i just do in a bunch of lists and um, as I was saying I just threw in a bunch of lists and um, I knew there was going to be a bunch of duplicates in there so that's not normal okay so as I was saying this list now has um, every part of this list has all the information you're looking for so now at this point if you want to you can just verbally or you can just manually go through here see if you see something in there that you don't like let's say this uh, this one right here let's say for some reason you don't like listing 113 for whatever reason maybe because it says info all you do is you click on left click on it one time and then you right click and it deletes it from the grid you should see the numbers up the label numbers up here change and I'll do it again I'm going to delete this one Napoleon's and see how it changed so that's a simple left click and then a right click and it gets rid of the lid lead in the grid no there's not a backup so don't make a mistake <clears throat> if you want to do multiples you just hold the shift key down and drag your mouse down to wherever you want to go that will and left click one more time and that will highlight everything and then you just right click and again it deletes it if you want to cherry pick you could hold the control key left click once on every lead that you want gone and then simply right click if you would like to sort your leads in any particular fashion all you do is come up to uh, grid controls 
and click sort and now depending on what header you click in that's how it's going to sort it so I'm going to sort it by business name and there you go as you see numbers always start the alphabet when it comes to um, Windows software if you want to sort it also by address you can do that phone number area code when you're ready to go back to uh, removing leads from the grids or getting ready to export you probably want to put it back on clean because under the clean function you can double click on any one of these and it will open up your browser depending on what your default browser is and it will bring you to their website where you can give it a quick perusal it will also bring you to their listing also while it's in clean mode you could look at the um, mobile aspect of things by simply clicking on settings clicking on mobile open mobile emulator and then double clicking on the listing now as you can see I don't have any mobile stats here <coughs> Actually, this is a big website, so it's taking a moment to pull. So, just like this, you can click on any of these and see what the mobile site looks like. As you can see, this one's pretty horrible. Anyway, the way to turn it off is simply go to Settings and click Open Mobile Emulator. At some point, I should make that say Close Mobile Emulator, but for now, just click it again and it goes away. The last grid function I would like to showcase is I purposely set this up with no mobile information at all. So let's say you're one of these people looking for responsive or looking for people without responsive web designs or mobile websites. You simply click on the header and find this set of functions. <coughs> Since we're not going to remove anything because we have nothing in the grid, we're going to check mobile check the entire grid. Before we do that though, we have to go into our options and we have to confirm that our mobile threads are turned on. Since we're not going to do any other function with a Profit Renegade, I'm going to put these uh, threads on 99. And I'm going to put the timeout on 30. 30 is too low, you should probably do more like 60, but in this case I just want to uh, showcase the software and show you how quick it actually can run. So again, there's nothing in here. I'm going to click the header. I'm going to come down here and, check and mobile check entire grid. You can see the progress bar going. And you can see it's true multi-threaded nature here, the way they're popping in. Now you have yes, that means it's mobile ready. It's passed all the resizing checks and uh, checks and whatnot. No means it does not. Blank means it didn't pull back. So the slate, the site itself is slower than the timeout you have. In this case, it's it takes longer to load in 30 seconds. That's all that blank means. And if it says NA, which you won't see any here because we cleaned out the listings without websites, if there was a blank listing here. Uh, let's say this Valentino one, it would say NA here. <clears throat> you can pause this just like that and at any time you want you can go ahead and clean out all the ones that say yes or all the ones that say no or if you clean all the blanks in this particular case it will clean out the entire grid. And that is the primary grid functions for Profit Renegade. As you can see that alone without any collecting any of the data that alone there is a huge time saver if you're like me you've opened up CVS files before and you had to try to clean them out you had to pay stupid amounts of money uh, to uh, find anything that would actually merge sort and dedupe any type of CVS file there are huge amounts of money for that type of software in Profit Renegade would it take you a few hours to do cleaning your list will be done in just a few seconds per uh, function and that is just one of the hundreds of different, uh, different functions that are in Profit Renegade that make this software stand above everything else. I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy it. If you have any questions about the uh, grid functions, if you have any possible ideas that make the grid functions better for cleaning your list, you just drop me a line and let me know. Most of what you see in this are ideas from customers just like you, um, especially once you use it a lot those people have come up with some past fantastic ideas I don't charge anything you have an idea and it's plausible and it makes sense I'll just shove it in here alright guys you have a great day